Hello, <clears throat> it is Monday morning and I just wanted to hop on and do a little five minute Monday with you. I haven't done one of those in a while. Wanted to hop on and do a quick one um, just to address some of the things going on in the news right now regarding the election. Um, I'm going to try to stay calm and I'm going to try to just keep it civil, but there's lots of discussion about um, black men who are thinking about not voting for Kamala Harris for a variety of reasons, um, a variety of reasons that do not make sense. Um, it might make sense to you, but it doesn't make sense for the nation and for our community. And so <clears throat> I just wanted to hop on here real quick and address that in, you know, under hopefully five minutes, under hopefully five minutes, just for a few minutes. Um, black men. You know, I know we all think differently and no one expects the black community to all vote the same way. However, this is a crucial, crucial, crucial election. This is probably one of the most important elections of our lifetime. OK, because if we vote the wrong way, if we get the fool in office that's trying to run to become president again, who should have never been president the first time, we can't do what we did when Hillary ran. Love Hillary to death, but we dropped the ball. We can't do what we did uh, when Hillary ran. We've got to push through and get Kamala Harris in office. And for you black men who are coming up with these reasons that you you know heard based on rumors and not facts about what Kamala Harris's uh, record on prosecution as a prosecutor was, um, yeah, she locked up all different types of people for different crimes. So if you were a human trafficker, if you were a child abuser, if you rape people, sexual assault, if you robbed, if you broke into people's houses, if you stole stuff, if you did stuff, crimes that you were not supposed to do and you happen to be black and they had enough evidence against you to prove that you committed the crime, then she did her job. She might have locked you up. And some of those people that got locked up might have been black men. We just need to deal with that. I think that's the real issue. Instead of coming down on Kamala Harris and using that as, a, as an excuse, as an excuse not to vote for her, some of y'all really need to examine why that is. Why are so many black men who are old enough to know better out here committing some of these crimes? I watch the news every day. I live in Alabama. And I see some of the crimes that some of these men, black and white, who are too old in their 30s and 40s, committing ridiculous, stupid crimes. And yes, going to jail. I can't help that. Only they can, can help the decisions that they make. Now, we all make bad decisions in life. We make good decisions, bad decisions. That's life. That That's how we learn <clears throat> about our lives. However... I need y'all to, to not say things like, I'm not going to vote for her because she a woman. Uh, fool, yo, mama raised you. Most of y'all, you know, got mamas and they raised you. Um, your aunties, your sisters, your cousins and them, and your teachers, everybody that helped you. I'm willing to bet that, that mo the majority of the people in your life have been women helping you get to where you need to get in life. So, Think of her as one more woman who's going to help us as a nation get to where we need to get in life. Do not fall for the okie doke. Do not fall for Donald Trump's rhetoric. He don't care about us. What Michael Jackson say, they don't really care about us. They don't really care about us. And if you don't believe us, go online. If, if you so gung ho on getting caught up on her record, actually go look at her record. I'm going to make another video later this week I'm actually about her record as a prosecutor, and we'll talk about that. However, yeah, go look at her record, okay? And go online and look at uh, Project 2025, which is your boy's playbook that he plans to implement when he, if he, oh, if he gets in office. Let's not wish that into existence. So I need some of y'all to just, do a little soul searching. Stop it with the okie doke. Stop it with believing that Kamala Harris is against you. And I need y'all to jump on the bandwagon of other issues. If you're going to jump on the issue of her locking black men up, then how about you take a look at yourselves, 
take a look at some of your friends and family members who are out here committing crimes and out in these streets doing stupid stuff. And how about you? How about you try to help with that? How about you try to get folks off the street? How about you go be a mentor to some young black kids so they don't fall in the same uh, line as others out here in these streets? How about you do stuff like that? Be proactive instead of reactive to this situation. Because voting for Donald Trump is not in your favor. He don't care about y'all. He don't care about black people. Just like a few years ago, Kanye West said, uh, George Bush don't care about black people. Donald Trump for show, for show, for show, don't care about black people. I need y'all to really get it together and stop it with the nonsense. Black men, these are excuses you are using. Excuses. Stop it. I need y'all to get involved with real issues, okay? Food insecurity, things like that. There's people out here being human trafficked. There's people out here who are hungry. There's people out here in our community who need your help and support. Kamala Harris being one of them. Vote for Kamala Harris. Don't, don't fall for the okie doke. Donald Trump wrote his name on a check for one stimulus check. Outside of that, what else did he give you? What has he done? And what else has he said he going to do this time around? I'll wait. Put something in the comments if you think it's something he going to do that's different than he did last time. Because last time he didn't really do nothing. He gave his cronies some tax breaks. Uh, he wrote a couple of things, did some stuff on immigration. Because that's really what he wants to do. He wants to get rid of all immigrants. Okay? And some immigrants are black. I need y'all to pay attention to the pattern. Okay? Y'all saw what he, the dumb stuff he said about the Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio. They black. Haitians are black. That's where it begins, y'all. Please don't fall for the okie doke. Please don't fall for the okie doke. He not going to give you no more money. He not going to give you no extra nothing. So, so please, just don't do it. Look up stuff. Read stuff. I'm currently reading The Truths We Hold by Kamala Harris. It's a book. Some of y'all might want to pick it up. And she talks about her track record as a prosecutor. She talks about some of the cases, the hard cases she had to deal with as a prosecutor. Um, you know, sexual abuse, child abuse, things like that. These are things she's dealing with. It's not just, a, it was never just about locking up black men. Please get your facts together. Get some facts. Unlike your boy who lies. Donald Trump lies to us every single day. When he was in office, he lied to us every single day. He had a whole press conference and told people to drink Lysol during the pandemic. This is who you want to be president? Come on now. Some of y'all are brighter than this. Some of y'all got degrees, certificates, more than he does. He got degrees, but he don't use them for nothing. Let's be clear. So anywho... I'm going to go. I've gone beyond my five minute Monday here, but I just wanted to hop on. I felt the need to hop on and just express my feelings towards all y'all black men who are trying to act like you're going to vote for Donald Trump. Don't do it. Don't fall for the okie doke. The election is in 20 something days. Please don't do it. And I know Barack Obama came for y'all. Yes. Stop it. Stop it. With the whole, every other country, look this up. Every other country has had a female leader except for us, except for the United States. We're supposed to be the strongest, biggest, baddest country in the land, but we have never voted in a woman president. And we've only had a black president one time or two times, 2008 and 2012, Barack Obama. We're trying to have a second, a third, we're trying to have a second black president and a woman at the same time. Come on, let's do this. Anywho, before I get worked up, I got to go in here into school with these kids. A lot of them are young black men and I'm trying to influence them to do right and stay on the correct path. And I need you black men to do the same things. Stop falling for the okie doke. Show your young sons, show your, the young men in your life that you are going to do the right thing. Don't vote for Donald Trump. Please don't do it. Please don't do this to your community. Because if you vote for Donald Trump, Please be prepared to not talk to the rest of us for the rest of, for the four years that we got. Okay? So, I'm just saying. Anywho, have a great day. 
Don't fall for the okie doke and make sure you vote the right way. Kamala Harris, Tim Waltz, 2024. Let's go. Peace.